I'm doing some more work on my hobo and my base camp because I have a special guest coming. So I've been cleaning up and uh, making small videos and I'm going to put it all together and show you what it's all about. So I'm getting ready for my friend Bear. He's coming down from June the 2nd to the 10th. I hope you, you come, but you promise to be here. So you don't be here. I know you don't be here. So what today I'm doing today is going out to Hobo and base camp and fixing it up in case we have to sleep in Hobo. It's too cold. We have Hobo. If it's too hot or too warm, we sleep at the base. So I have two camps out here. One's for summer and warm days. And the other one's for cold days and chilly nights. So I've been, out, I've been going out there and fixing the both of them because they both need repair because it's been like a couple of years before I've been out here. I do come out here to visit to make sure no one takes or steals or destroys my stuff. So I've been coming out here repairing, like I said, as repeat, I'm repeating myself. To getting it ready for my friend to show up. My friend Bear. I can't wait. So today, I'm going out there to do some repairs. And I'm doing some tax. Tax day. Yes, it's tax day. What is this? I'll show you. These tax are reflectable tax. And I want to make sure my friend can get out. Or any YouTuber that comes out here and visits me. They can, all my friends can get out with no problem. In the trail, you can put these in the trails to show you where to go as a, as a trail marker. And I'm starting into my trail. And what I'm going to do, any type of kind of, I call it a tube trail, where there's no other way to go but that way, because that's the only trail like this. This is what I call a tube trail. See, there's no open space here there's no open space there you know this is a path because it's just a clear you see people stepping on the logs so you know this is part of the trail no doubt about it so i'm not going to mark any of those a tube trail but when it gets open i'm going to put these tacks up and i'll show you how it works i'm going to put one right here and show you how it works you take a tack and you place it in the tree that you want to be marked. Now, I recommend to put your trail tack really high so no one sees that little white button. See the little white button? Now, give me a second. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I have a flashlight. And see how it reflects with the light? See how it's reflecting? It's reflecting with the light. So it's a, like a little reflector. See how it's reflecting? Okay. That's what this these tacks are all about. They show you, it, it's like flagging, but it's a tack. It shows you how to use something simpler and easier for you. So you won't let a lot of people know where, you, where to go. And what I do, I take another tack and I put it towards the, the trail. If my trail's this way, I place the tack right here, facing that way. Now, if the trail turned that way, I'll put the tack here, showing you this is an L. You need to stop where you're at and go that way. If I had the tack here, if I had the tack on that side, you would turn that way. Then if you see the tack on this side, you would keep going straight. So when you put these tacks, make sure you put one, wherever your trail is, put one facing the trail, and the other side facing the trail. If you go to a left, put the tack on the left. If it goes to the right, I'm sorry, this is the right. If it goes to the right, put a tack here. If it goes to the left, put a tack on the left. Vice versa. You get the point. Now these trail markers is for you to find your way out here or out if you get lost in the woods. So it's like a, a flagging. But we're not using flagging, we're using tacks. 
Now the tacks are harder to see. Okay, see right now we're still in the tube trail. You, it is no, you don't go that way. You see the trails this way. So you want to take, hang on, cut. All right, action. Now this is a tube trail. There's no, look, you can't go that way. It's all, you can't go that way because there's no trail. So this is a tube trail. So we don't need no taxes, tax here until you get into an area that like, whoa, wait a minute, where, where, where to go, where to go? Well, if you just use a little common sense, you gotta walk through somewhere and you're out. Sometimes the trail disappears, like right here, it disappeared. Where'd it do? So I'm gonna put a tack in this tree because it kind of the trail disappears. You know, I'm gonna put it over here. I'm gonna put it right here, way up here. So that's a trail tack, and I gotta put it on this side because my trail keeps going this way. So if you can find one trail tack, you look at it, okay it goes that way so let's go the way it's pointing so i'm gonna put a tack right here and we'll put a tack over here so i'll put a couple of tacks sometimes close to one another and sometimes far away that's only about five feet from the last tack but you can see one tack from here and you can see that when you get here so yeah you go here all right you got a tube trail kind of gets fuzzy here like where to go so i'm gonna put another tr trail marker so if you got a flashlight you will find these things since it's a little fuzzy i'm gonna put it here and this one goes right here because you point pointing that way so you see one? Okay, it trails that way. Let's go this way. Okay, this is a tube trail. You can see where the trail is. I mean, don't go nowhere, but I do. I can put another trail marker just so you can find your way around this area. So I'm gonna put one. Um, I'll put it in this tree here. No, no, no. This one's a little older, so I'm gonna put it about right there. And my trail keeps going forward, so we're going to put... And I try to put them at the same height and the same spot from the other. Alright, so we got to keep going. Common sense, this is a trail, so we don't need to put no trail markers. But now I'm getting it open when you need a trail marker. It's like right here. You're like, ugh. Where to go? Which way? Which way did he go? Which way did he go? Which way? All right, you know that's all blocked. Maybe that way, and nothing that way. But we still gonna put a trail marker. Uh, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put because a flashlight can shine pretty far, so you can just shine around. And there's my old marker. I'm gonna put a marker right here in this tree, and put one in this side. That means. You know what that means. Voila. And I'm going to put one over here. And try not to put it in the de a dead branch. See, that's a dead branch. So I have to find a living tree. I'm going to put it over here. You know what? Right here. There you go. I'm going to put it high. Put as high as you could reach, basically. And one on the other side. There you go. <clears throat> now you know you gotta go this way. So any of my YouTubers or any of my friends can come out here. And by the way, I had to make a new trail because of that damn tree. But you know what I'm gonna do? I mean, we have choice. Well, you gotta go around. So really, we have to move. We gotta put a new marker. We gotta put a marker right here because this is the new trail because of the, the tree. So we'll put a marker right here. And, and another thing you could do 
let's say you make it a trail and you want somebody to go this way what you want to do you want to put markers on two two trees on both sides of the trail this tells that person to go this between these two trees and I have to put it kind of sideways because the trail goes right there all right now I got two markers that means go through here one there and one there I'm gonna do the same I'm gonna go over here and put a marker right here now the trail keeps going forward so we're gonna put a marker right there so he's gonna look for those he's gonna shine his light or anybody shine their light and we'll see those two markers then look and go stand in that area and look for the other marker and I will show him that's the other marker and walk and see we in the trail put it high there we go and put one on the other side there we go my trails like that and since this you has to walk through this trail I have to put one over here because you got to go this way to get out because you see that tree is blocking the old trail so I have to put one over here so you have to look for two markers or flash the light you see the marker and you just walk through this is where it gets really I got a lot of markers so I might run out I don't know might have to go buy more tax They're only two dollars about three bucks for the whole box there you go and you go walk this way here and my trail is that way so I have to put a marker right here there you go and there's a tunnel you can see it's a tunnel now he will come here or somebody will come here and get lost and figure out which way is the trail it has to go that way so I have to put put a marker this way showing you got to go this way oh there's was hard oh there's a oh, oh, uh, oak here and there we go barely could put it in those things have cost too much and we'll put a tack over here to let them know or whoever know they go between these two trees and we'll put a marker on the other side once again and showing you this video you can see how to get through this trail with no problem but you got to know where this trail is so to go through it and you see this is the tube trail is you can see a clean path and I'm gonna go ahead and put a tack right here and since since this is a little easy I'm gonna put the tack oh no And I'll put the tack over here and do the vice versa on the other side. Uh, and over here. There you go. Now, this is a tube trail. You will not have to put no tacks in this tube trail unless you, I believe, it's, you can get lost in this area, which I, I doubt. But I will put some tacks and let you know you're still on the right trail. Right there. Uh, uh, right here. And I'm going to put one over here to let you know this is the way to go. I need to clean out this trail. I just cleaned this trail like a, about a, a month ago. And look at it, it's already cleared, cleared. And I'm gonna put one right here, 
and let you know to go that way. And we'll put one. Let's see if you can see that. Cut, action. Well, you can see it, can you? There's the other one over there. Maybe if I had a brighter light, you'd be able to see those. Yeah, it's glowing. I usually have a br brighter light and it really shines as you can see those tacks. So we're gonna leave and see if we can see any with this small flashlight. Hey, this is the same flashlight my friend Bear gave me. Thank you, Bear. So we're gonna see if we can find our way out. I think if we had a brighter flashlight, we could probably find our way out. If I remember right, I didn't start putting those tacks to later on. Yeah, right around here. Let's see if I find that tack. There it is. It's right there. It's so bright with that sun. Hmm. Next time we probably come out here doing a, a night and doing a, a night test on these these uh, tacks and also a night test on our rope string and our our uh, solar lights. Pretty dark in here. <laughs> Too bad I don't have no tacks in here. Well, we just finished a good update on our camp. We uh, put some tarps up and we uh, got some stuff done. I'm happy, I'm very happy in my progress and getting my camp ready for my guest. So we, I'm doing good. I'm ready for, uh, for my guest now. Ready for my friend bear. We're gonna have a good camp out. All right, there's one. You can't see. All right, I'm Ranger Kooky. Um, I don't have to show you how to get in and out, but we're gonna do a test with those uh, tacks. So we find out how we get out here and in, in here with a brighter flashlight. A brighter, brighter flashlight shows these tacks up really good. I remember when I first did it, you know, uh, Mike and Andrew, Mike and Stranger Cookies Avengers, go check that video out. And I think the Grumpy had, I had him up when the Grumpy was here. I'm not sure. I have to look it up. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. I'm heading out of here. I'm going home. I got to go work tonight. So, bummer for me. But I upgraded everything I can upgrade at the camp. All right, I'm ready to go. See you later. Oh, lovely. Like this, let you know you gotta go that way. So this is like a little, another tube trail. And you see I have made this little log thing. You walk on the log. It'll slip off the green stuff. <clears throat> Now, I'm gonna put a tack right here. You let you know to go 
that way and put a tack over here to let you know to go that way and I might as well put one on the other side that way and that way all right now got like a little curve you can see the path the leaves it's weird at night on the moonlight you can see these leaves glow it's weird now we don't want to go oh shit oh i'm lost oh i'm lost in my own trail you gotta go that way i need a tree uh okay we're gonna put it in this tree i'm gonna put it right there and put one right there there we go it's weird you can get lost in your own trail all right now the trail goes that way so i gotta put one like this because you're gonna look for these tacks and one like this it's kind of weird because this tack's telling you to go that way this tack oh wait a minute that's the wrong way you gotta have this tack right here oh no not my tack this tack goes here because you're going that way this tack is showing you that way now here's an area i had to flag it up because it's simple uh, you don't know what these flags are for you might think it's for the slumber company that cut these trees down so you think that's their property line which it was it was their property line see this is their original flag and so this is a confusing flag but if you walk between those two flags and follow the path you see the path and some orange flagging and two flags that's like my two tags my two tacks two flags means go through this trail and look for another orange flag okay orange flag okay there's two over there okay go towards the orange flags uh this was my original trail it just got so close that kind of threw me off and i had to realign it <laughs> Because it's weird. One branch in a trail can almost lose. Look right there. So you don't need no tacks because you got these flags. I put these up for a reason. Now you're like right here. What are you doing? Okay, looks like it goes that way or that way. But we will put a tack. So you go turn on your light and look for that tack. All right, this one goes right here. And the other one goes right here to let you know go that way now we got the log of fire and death you see the fire on it you gotta walk across the log you can walk that way if you have uh some weird disease or something that you can't you can't walk across something like that you can walk on the side it needs to be cleared but i had that for the grumpy he couldn't walk over the log even though he never took this trail he took the other trail all right this is a tunnel trail so we don't need no tacks you know you can use common sense and trails if you're a good trail master you should be able to go through this trail with no problem and this video is going to be posted after my friend comes out here because i'm going to challenge him that's right bear i'm going to challenge you and i hope you take my challenge to make it to my camp within 30 minutes or less now no ooh bumblebee them things scare me so much but i am going to put a tack way over here to let you know this is where you got to turn and we'll put one right here to let you know you got to go that way and put one right here to let you know you got to turn right here and right here you go between these two trees now next place is going to be really open so you got to look for flagging I thought I saw a spider. Banana spider. Whatever you call them things. Okay. Now we're getting to the open area. Oh, Lord. Look at this. Well, I'm going to put a tag way over there. 
and I'm gonna put a tack right here. And I'm gonna put two tacks, let them know they go through this door. Oh shit, that's dead. Uh, well, one tack on a dead tree won't hurt. Now, I'm gonna put a couple tacks over here because you're gonna shine your light. Hope your light's pretty bright. All right, the challenge is to get to my camp within 30 minutes or less. Fifth, the faster you get to my camp, the faster you get to my camp, you get two or three prizes. Okay. Okay. Now we got some orange flagging because this is the worst area. Look at this. Do you know where to go? This area is so like you look for trail. Oh look, there's smash lily pads. I used to have it going that way. So you won't it went around like that, so you won't like fit follow the trail and always take different paths. But if you see the path and in the growth, you'll take oh it's wet. I forgot. It's been raining. So you better have your boots. The challenge is, if you can get to my camp within 30 minutes or less, the longer you take, the less prizes you will win. And knowing you, Bear, you will probably take the challenge and give the gifts to Mike Majuri or Mike Longwolf. All right, this area is, could be dangerous. The reason why we have high, have water here. Water calls for snakes and big reptiles so we're going to take a look make sure we don't have no snakes and we're going to jump across this ditch and there's another piece of flagging right there so you find that flagging you walk across the ditch watch for snakes in this jungle here i got to cut this down Then you go walk across this little bridge here. Uh, uh, I'm getting muddy. I'm getting icky. Alright, now we're gonna find some more flagging. Alright, there's a flagging. You just look, you stand here and you look for other flaggings. There's two over there, so we gotta walk. Remember, I put the flag in here because you don't know if this property line or what. You don't see the trail. So let's follow the all of the flagons. There's another flag. And when you get to this flag, you look for another flag. There they are over there. Just look. That's how you do is look. See that? It means go to between those two trees. Flagging, flagging. And when you get, there's another one over there. You just have to look. Sometimes I, sh I never grumpy, man. Flagging right there in his face and just didn't see it. If you watch uh, the video with Grumpy Take My Challenge, I forgot how I word it, but it's with Grumpy Guy Take My Challenge. There's one of the two flagons. Now, here, I'm gonna put some tacks way over here. <clears throat> ah! I'm glad these things do like a little bunny jump so you won't run into them. No, don't destroy my nest. No, no. Don't do it. Don't do it to me. Mm -mm. Those things cost money. <laughs> Alright. And then we'll put one over here. Now the flagon I got here is a little harder to see. So this trail uh, is kind of hard, but it goes that way. So you have to use common sense. So I'm walk these two trees, even though you got a piece of flagging right here, where there it is, but it's hard to see that one because we're getting close to my camp. And I want all kinds of flagging and, and stuff to find my camp. So I was trying to hide the rest of the uh, 
there we go now the rest of the trail should be tube a tube trail tunnel trail tube trail it's about the same thing so i might call it different so just be aware tube trail tunnel trail it's the same thing just i might call it different every time with my dyslexia i might forget i call this i forget i call that so i smell a skunk here it's like i think i got a skunk liz here it stinks like a skunk i think it lives in this hole right here because this is where you see fresh digging just really have a hard smell of skunk you might live in there and dig grubs out that out that thing see how flat it is now you kind of see which way to go tunnel trail another little banana spider ah just went in the web and you see how flat it is but this is the tricky part i got some tricks in this in this area so i do have to put a lease because you get here you're like oh wait a minute this is why I got all my hidden trails. Because I don't want you to go where well, I don't want you to go. So I'm going to put a tack here. And a tack on this side. Oh no. Oh no. The thing's expensive. So this one goes right here. So you got to go that way. I saw so many people get lost right there in that corner. You should see Mike. Poor Mike. He got lost many times out here. We'll put one right here. Put one right there. Now it's kind of flat. You kind of use common sense when you're walking in the woods. Maybe. I'm going to put a couple of tax dust so my friend can get out if an emergency situation. Okay, I want to put a. Yeah. Uh, I got to put a tack where that branch might not see that I'll put one right here okay and I'm gonna put one over here and one right here okay and you see it's flat again see this one branch can ruin the whole trail it did at first I'm like oh wait a minute oh I know where I'm at I know which way to go so, I'll go the way I was told to go. Now you stop here. I'm like, okay, this is in the trail. But it goes across this, this fence. I'm going to put one right there. Uh, there you go. That way you can see it from over there. Because basically what you want to do is shine your light. When you find one, you walk to it and you shine your light again to find the next one. Okay, this is a tunnel trail. You can see the flatness. So we're not going to put no tacks unless I get in an area where it's difficult. When it gets difficult, I'll put a tack. And I know the turn. Now watch how, how hard it's going to be up here. I got it so, so like, oh, shh. Holy moly, which way to go? It's so hidden. And I'm gonna leave it like that too. See, see how it's flat? And got a little path. All right. You will eventually keep going straight here. Oh yeah, the path goes this way. And this is one of my hidden things. See, when you get here, you're like, okay, where to go? That looks like it right there. So you might venture that way, but you notice that's not flat. No, oh, maybe you walk this way. You'll be here for about 20 minutes. Like, where will we go? And if you notice how flat that is, you got to turn here. That's a trail. And I'm going to mark it. I'm going to mark one here. And one on this side. And I'm going to mark this tree. To let you never go between these two trees. So when you get in a tight spot, when I mean, you're walking through my trail, just shine your light or keep it on. Just look and look. Now, this is a tunnel trail again. You'll be walking. Oh, okay, I found the trail. 
And you're gonna say, oh yeah, I got it, I got it. See, I was gonna put a fake camp right here. Just a little lean-to, just something cheap, a little tin or something. And you'll walk up and you'll come to this area. You might, like, yeah, up another dead end. But if you look, you see how flat that is, it goes that way. So I'm gonna put a tack. See, it looks like it's it stops right here. And I was gonna put a fake camp here. And I'm gonna put a tack there and a tack this way. Yes, that way. That way. Another tunnel trail. And when you get here, if you look, you'll see a toilet or uh, the head or the uh, latrine. And you look that way, there's camp. So we don't need no more tacks. We're done with tacks. So we'll put these up. We're done. All right. I'm gonna check my base to make sure there's no one here. I doubt it. I put a new tarp up. It's getting old and I put new lights I got uh, put some more lights up here oh shoot this is not supposed to be like that okay maybe I have to tighten that up all right I'm gonna, I'm gonna end here I'm Ranger Cookie I'll see you in the next video um, I'm ready to show you the updates that I did here to the spider he caught an ant Oh well, I'm gonna leave him. Oh man, look at that. You on. You probably didn't see a damn thing. Alright, I'm Ranger Kookie. I'll see y'all next time.